<coughs> That's really cool. That's very cool. That's incredible. For this project, I made a mini FPV flying wing with parts normally used for small racing multirotors. By using a flight controller with built-in OSD, I can have an electronically stabilized fly-by-wire flight control system with some basic flight instruments overlaid on my video feed, such as an artificial horizon, compass, and altitude. I haven't touched the controls yet. That's auto level and mag magnetic heading hold. For propulsion, I'm using just one Emax 1306 4000 kV motor and a 3 inch 4 bladed propeller. Controlling that is a DYS 20 amp ESC, which is a little bit overkill. I have one 450 and two 650 4S batteries. I'm using the same FreeSky X4R SB receiver that I use on all my other race quads. To control my elevons, I have two lightweight and super fast digital servos, and two push rods and two control horns that I cut myself. For video, I'm using this Runcam Eagle and a 600 milliwatt video transmitter. The flight controller is this F3 board with built in OSD. I also got these two RGB LED strips that I can control with the flight controller. The wing platform design was pretty much made up on the spot and cut out of a sheet of foam board. My construction method is really simple, it's just two flat sheets of foam board glued together with hot glue. With the elevons cut from the bottom sheet, and after beveling the bottom edge, I hinged them with packaging tape. Later on, after a few flights, I reduced the size of those elevons a little bit. After that, I mounted my servos and control arms. First, I cut a slit into my elevon to slip the control arm into and secured it with hot glue. I wanted to inlay the servos down into the wing, so I traced the servo and then cut that shape all the way through the wing and punched out the foam. In order to mount the motor, I designed and 3D printed this tiny motor mount and glued that in place on the back. I had already set up all my electronics, and I'll explain more about how that works later. After roughly kind of working out where everything will go, I glued down the flight controller. I also had some extra beepers, so I decided to use one of those and put it down into the wing. Let's see, I can make a beep. <laughs> that's, that's cool, right? <laughs> yeah. That's sick. Then I stuck the receiver out on the wing with some double-sided foam tape. I cut a little notch out of the front for the FPV camera to sit down into, and I glued that in with a little bit of hot glue. In order to secure the battery, I cut two slits into the foam and fed a standard battery strap through them. I then stuck the video transmitter out on the other wing, but later I cut a hole in the wing so that that could be inlaid also, and also have cooling from the bottom. In order to make a little pod to cover all the electronics, I just kind of freehanded some shapes out of some foam for the walls, and then I put a strip of foam over the top. I'm using hot glue to secure the front down, and I'm using a rubber band to hold the back down so it can be easily opened up. All right. In order to round the leading edge and provide a little bit more curvature to the upper surface, I glued a strip of construction paper to the bottom of the wing, and smoothly bent it around the leading edge and glued it down to the top. Then I glued those LED strips to the trailing edge on either side of the motor. This plane doesn't have very much sweep angle, and having the wing yaw back and forth in the video feed is really annoying, so I put some winglet style vertical stabilizers on the wingtips. So, uh, we'll try the video later, but first we'll just do a completely manual launch. So, uh, I guess I'll just launch it like... I hate launching wings though, I'm always scared. Yeah. But it's so tiny, it can't be too hard, so what am I gonna do, frisbee? Like that. Let's try it out. I haven't flown fixed wing in a while. <laughs> Heck yeah. It's so thin. Oh man, that just instantly made it fly perfect. Really? Yeah. I think it's horizon. Oh bro, it's picking up speed. Okay, now for the electronics. 
For our video, instead of sending the camera's video straight to the video transmitter like normal, I just put it through the built-in OSD pads on the flight controller. Originally, I was thinking that I could just plug the servos directly into the flight controller like you normally would with an ESC on a quadcopter. However, when I tried that, I realized that servos are very power hungry and make a lot of electrical noise. So whenever the servo was moved, the noise completely ruined my video feed. This is a little bit obvious in hindsight, but I was really bummed about it because I wanted this project to be relatively simple and plug and play for my viewers. So what I did is I made my own separate 5 volt power supply using a linear 5 volt regulator and some capacitors. And I used that to power the servos. But the signal output from the flight controller is connected to the signal wire of the servo. This way, the flight controller can control the servos, but the energy to power the servos comes from an isolated power source. I was super excited when I got this to work because I came up with the idea and had never used any linear voltage regulator before. I only knew about them from YouTube videos I've seen. The 5 volts for everything else just comes from the 5 volt output from the video transmitter, which is probably a little bit more load than it's supposed to have, but it's worked so far, I guess. The receiver is communicating with the flight controller with SBUS, just like I would with a normal quadcopter. At first, I tried using Betaflight for the firmware, but that was really hard because there was basically no development or documentation for mixing controls for a flying wing in Betaflight. But then I found iNav, which is another fork of the open source software, except that this one is optimized for autonomous and GPS-based aircraft. It's perfect. I also tried Velcroing this Runcam 2 on top to record onboard video, and I tried the Runcam Night Eagle, which is a black and white camera that is very good at seeing in the dark. Thanks for watching, and I'll leave you with a little bit more flight footage. Yeah. Oh, it's so easy to fly with self-leveling. I don't have to do anything. Oh, hi. It's getting dark for me, so I'm probably not going to be able to go as far as you, you are. This eagle's awesome. It's fine right now? Yeah. It's, can't even tell it's dark out. So let's do uh, ISO and we'll manually scroll until we like it. GoPro, stop that recording. Way. So this is pretty good. ISO 3200 sounds good. Let's leave it there. There's an extra pair if you guys want to see. There's, there's two extra pairs of goggles. Oh, <laughs> 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 